Election day is November 8th, and we wanted to know what you care about. So 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Crawford took your tough questions to the two congressional candidates running for the newly drawn District 14, which now includes Tampa and St. Pete. Democrat incumbent uh, Kathy Castor has held that seat since 2007. This came specifically from one of our viewers, one of our Facebook followers. Anka Garcia, what is your stance on Ukraine? Well, God bless the brave people of Ukraine and their outstanding president, Volodymyr Zelensky. And I strongly support uh, their supplying of the Ukrainians with the tools they need to repel uh, Putin and his horrendous uh, aggression. Let me just do one follow up on that. Um, under what conditions would you support direct American military action to support Ukraine against Russia? No, I would not support troops or direct military action. This is from Charlie Diane Human. How do you plan to address climate changes? Well, the Inflation Reduction Act we just passed is the most historic investment in clean energy and resilience in the history of America. In fact, it's the most forward reaching climate law in the world. And I chaired, I chaired the House Select Committee on the Climate Crisis. So I was asked by my colleagues to lead the effort. Back to a viewer question here. Do you think non-educators should be choosing what is being taught or do you support teachers choosing what, when, and how to teach? Yes, I trust educators, but it's important for parents to have a role and a voice in their children's education. Uh, what I don't like is politicians uh, injecting themselves into what is uh, education, professional educators and the way they review materials and a lot goes into those decisions, but it should be a collaborative process, but in the end, uh, it's very important to teach the basics, reading, writing, and history. What are two or three congressional actions that you would support to control the flow of immigrants seeking entry through the U.S. border, the U.S. southern border? We've got to have a, a more secure border, and I've voted for millions and millions of dollars for border security. There are a lot of new tools available uh, where you can uh, use drones and overflights in contact with folks on the ground to make sure that they're uh, that anyone trying to cross illegally is, uh, is dispatched and not allowed to enter the United States. Liz Crawford, 10 Tampa Bay. Liz also sat down with Castor's competitor, James Judge, to view her full 12 minute Q&As. You can download our free 10 Tampa Bay Plus app for Fire TV and Roku devices.